I'm Debbie Ryan, and you're watching Clever TV. Hey guys, what's up? Dana Ward here with Debbie Ryan. Hi, these lights are harsh. Right? The bright. Hollywood, man, bright lights. In Big fact, city. they almost blinded me enough where I didn't see you change your hair color. What you is up with this? I've changed it twice or three times since I've seen you, by the way. Um, I decided to become a ginger, so I dyed it like copper I, red. I think you have to say a ginger. A ginger, darling. I you became a ginger, ginger for a hot second. And then I decided, I sat down a week later in the chair, and I was like, listen, can we dye it dark brownish red, put little feathers in it, and then we'll be good. So that's what happened. Just for yourself. You just, just for kicks, yeah. I always like to keep it fresh. Wait, but how keep does that work with like work? How does that work with work? You can just do it? I guess people have imaginations. They could be like, oh, I could see her blonde, or they've already seen me blonde and they've already you know what I mean? Actually I think I I think it helps me in work because people can when I'm blonde, people can't see me as a brunette. Uh -huh. And I naturally have dark hair and would like to act as a brunette. Yeah. Or a redhead. Whatever. So So who is Debbie Ryan with this hair color? Who is Debbie Ryan? Because when you change your hair color, it brings out different parts of your personality. It does. I'm a little, right? I don't know. I'm a little, um, I'm a bit quieter. I'm a little bit more contemplative. I tend to spout things off in a British accent, randomly. <laughs> um, which actually Greg Sulkin makes fun of me. He's like, we don't all sound like witches. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I apologize. But it's a fake, it's actually like an old English lady. Oh, like, it's okay. kind of my character that I slide into. And so I'm like, listen, darling, you look absolutely fabulous. I'm gonna run and grab a beverage. Like, I, love, I love the time. physical movement. Because she falls out. around. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's a little bit out of her head. You know? And dude, what's going on here? You've got some braids going on. Feathers, yo. Oh my God, you're right. You know what I'm Sorry. saying? It's the bright lights. I'm not here to judge. I, I love it. Um, I just decided to put feathers in my hair because I always braided them into my hair and I found a place that does them and they like stay in, you can wash them and you no can way. curl them. Dude, you are always so on top of the trends. Thank you, these are gonna be huge in like a couple months, so give it a second, guys. What else clothing-wise do you think will be really cool soon or you think it's about to become a trend? I don't know, like a year and a half ago, I went to this army surplus store and I found these combat boots that I loved and they're like steel-toed and oh. I fell in love with them and they came out in like Teen Vogue and all sorts of yeah, things. And yeah. so, those are kind of in. I feel like they're in now, like in the rest of the world, which is good. Oh, okay. Because I feel like they're they're, they're You've already on. moved on to the next trend. No, dude, I still wear them, and they're oh, steel okay. toes. Yeah, don't mess with me. Okay, so of course we want to talk about sweet life. What's going on? Yeah, with sweet life. What dish can you give? What dish? You know the norm. The dish. Um, sweet life. We've got, we just had a really big Twister episode and it did really well. Um, so Bailey and Cody are officially back together. We've got a movie coming out pretty soon, which is exciting. It actually, the, the man who directed it, directed like even Steven, he directed my childhood, like he's awesome. And he just got off of a film called Soul Surfer, which is a huge like theatrical film. So uh -huh. it's something you would like go to the theaters and see, but on your television, just directly to your living room. So it definitely feels like a big movie. Uh-huh, what's, what's the name? I think it's, I don't know if it's Two for the Road, the Sweet Life movie. I don't know what oh, it is. Oh, okay. But Cause we like to get clues from the name, you know? All right, well, I will tell you. There's action, adventure, suspense, romance. Um, there's real water, a real boat, uh, stunts, and a whole lot more. Evil, evil. <laughs> <laughs> there's evil. Dude, I think you just covered everything as an audience that we would want to see. Listen, and I'm not going to give too much away, but Bailey kind of saves the day a little bit. I'm just saying. Oh. I'm just saying. I've already done this once tonight, but let's brush those shoulders off. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It means you're a superstar, you're a rock star. And you, now listen, you need Bailey saves the day. Did I do Perfect. that Perfect. Right? Yeah, you totally okay. did that right. Because totally I just decided right. to sell it. That's the red hair thing. I just commit to whatever I do and yeah, see if it works. I love it. Okay, really quick, what are you gonna partake in once you get inside? Rides, games, I'm gonna give food. Cody a hug and tell him happy birthday. I'm definitely gonna get on the, um, why am I forgetting the name of it? Ferris wheel? Yes, I almost said carousel, and it's definitely it's not a It's a carousel. giant Ferris wheel, people. It's, guys, it's humongous. You can see it from like the other side of Santa Monica. Yeah. Um, and I like ski ball. I'm always down for a little ski ball, so we'll see how this goes. And Sweet. funnel cake. Yeah. Dude, can't pass up the funnel cake. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm down I know what you're saying. Powdery, sugary, deep fried carbs. Ooh. Always. I'm kind of down right now, actually. Do you want to go get a funnel cake? Yeah, dude. Sounds good. Okay, sorry. We got to get funnel yeah. cake. Bye, Clever. Bye.